G'day mates, it's Sunday afternoon and welcome to the first episode of Feeds for Fuck All. So we've got a couple of ingredients behind me that Steph's going to cook, but first of all I'm going to show you the ingredients list and what it actually costs to make this meal. And... Alright, here we go, this is what we're going to make tonight, tomato and basil soup. So we're going to need three canned tomatoes, they're about 410 grams each. Probably not that 500 mils of beef stock, but that's how much it costs, so four bucks. Tube of basil, $3.50. If you don't get a tube of basil, just go and you know, pick it from someone's garden or get some fresh stuff. Either, either way will work. Brown sugar. I haven't put the cost of the brown sugar in because I figure most people will probably have that you know, just in the back of their cupboard somewhere. If not, ask your neighbor. I'm sure they'll help you out. So this meal, the total cost comes to $11.70. So that's what we're calling this Feeds for Fuck All. This is what we're going to use for tonight's meal and Steph's going to cook it shortly. Are you ready to cook dinner? No. Where's my recipe? I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you didn't need to like dramatically pause for that. Mate, will you settle down? Help boss. I'm in the kitchen again. No, Help mate, boss. You don't, don't need to worry about it, alright? Help boss. It's okay. Help boss. <laughs> well, you Sweetie ready? he doesn't like it. Are you ready for step one? No. It's pretty easy. That, that wasn't step, step one, but okay. Step one, ensure glass has got wine in it. Put your wine glass down, you need your hands. Oh, really? Yeah. Step one, open those three cans of crushed tomatoes. All of them? Yeah, all of them, all three. Well, one's diced, but it doesn't matter. Just canned tomatoes. What? Why? What are you making? I'm making tomato and basil soup, so it's kind of an essential ingredient that goes into this. It seems bizarre that we're just opening cans of tomatoes. Well, so far you're doing pretty well. What do I do now? Put your tomatoes into this. Into that? Yeah. But the thing's not on. It doesn't need to be. Do I just pour it in? Yeah. It's pretty gross. All of it. Every single one. All three containers? Cans, yes. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with it? Oh, good. Now, now turn your heat on to low. Which one? This one? It's got a guide right here. Yes, but am I turning this one on or this one on? No, the back one. On to low. Is that low? No. Turn it down. Is that low? Yeah, and then put your, put your tomato stuff <laughs> over that. And then you want to get out like a wooden spoon or something like that. Like this? That'll do. Don't need to be too precious about it. This is like cans of tomatoes. <laughs> Look, it's feeds for fuck all. It's not going to be like super impressive. It's just meant to feed, you know, feed you for low cost. Did you get some bread? No. What are we going to eat with this? It's tomato soup. No budget for bread. <laughs> Don't drop it. The next thing is you want to open that. This? Yeah. We don't need it immediately, but we're going to need it a little bit later. I think you'll need a pair of scissors. Perforation to form a spout. Oh, maybe. Is it? Can you do it just. Without scissors? I don't think so. No. Maybe get a knife. <laughs> no. You don't trust me with a knife. But I can be trusted with a pair of scissors. Are you sure? No. Don't cut yourself. Injury avoided. That's good. Good start. Looks yeah. very bizarre. You might want to keep stirring this from time to time because you don't really want it to bubble too much. Well, you I just want to get it low. heated up. Well, it's, you can go lower than that. Now it's stopped. You're turning it to high. You turn it back towards you to go low. Lower. 
That's better. So we just want to heat the tomatoes through. We don't want them to boil. We just want it all heated up. Where's the thing for this spoon to sit in? And just sit it on the front. Just clean it up later. I want your breadboard there. That's for my bread. <laughs> there is no bread, I keep telling you. Well, can you please make some bread? Not in the time that we have, no. <sighs> Alright, so next step is... You might want to start... Um, just add a little bit of stock in. What about this? You can do that now if you want to. But I normally do that a little bit later. Where is this recipe? In my head. Deal with it. <laughs> What's a little bit? Just a little bit. Probably a bit more than that. <laughs> a bit more. That'll probably do. You don't want too much salt. Just a little bit of salt. Right. Pro tip, Sue. If you don't have stock, just get some Vegemite and dissolve it in... Ew! In hot water. That's the same as stock, basically. It is not the same as stock. It basically is. There is no Vegemite in our house. There's not. But you know, in other houses, they may have Vegemite and they may not have stock. And they're trying to keep the budget down on their meals. What am I doing with this? All right, so that's going to be happening later. Then. So the whole idea of the brown sugar is that's just to, to sweeten up the, the soup just a little bit. But for now, what you want to do is just keep stirring that until you get a little bit of bubbles on the top. That way you know the whole thing's heated all the way through. Do you understand? No. Keep stirring it. You might need to add a little bit more heat, but you just want it to be heated, heated through just enough that you get a couple of bubbles starting to form, and then you can let it... Am I supposed to crush these things or something? Well, that's what you're made over there the stick blender's for. Oh. That's going to make this whole thing a little bit easier. But for now, just heat it until we get a couple of bubbles on the surface. Okay. Clean up on all three. <laughs> How do you manage that? I don't know. I was stirring. All right. Well, now you've got the, the bubbles coming through the top there. That's all right. So you can back off your heat a little bit more now if you want. Yes, that, that was backing up the heat. That's fine. Now what you can do is... Move it back on the so it's not on the heat. And what you're going to do now is get your stick blender. No, that's not ready yet. What do you mean ready? It's hot. Well, it needs no. We need to put these other things in it. That's not how you make tomato soup. Works fine every time I do it. it can't be the, how you make tomato soup. It's just well, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever made tomato soup before? <laughs> made a sum total of that stupid cake and that ricotta pie that you made me make. <laughs> so your experience in making tomato soup is basically zero. But considering that I already told you that you were going to make the damper wrong and I happen to be right about that. But what about the rest just, of the things you made? Doesn't they seem turned out alright didn't they? they this just doesn't seem right. Well if you follow my instructions and pick up that stick blender that I'm still waiting for you to do. But it's going to go everywhere. No, it won't if you're not stupid. But I already made this thing spit everywhere. Is your blender plugged in? Yes. Alright. How am I supposed to use this thing? Plonk it in there. But isn't it going to spit everywhere? No, not if you put it all the way at the bottom. Then turn it on. <laughs> so this is the next step. Blend it to the smooth. Supervising. What do you think? No, it's not right. Why is it not right? Well, or do you want a thick tomato soup or do you want a thin tomato a soup? A thick one. It's supposed to be thicker than this. No, that's pretty thick. No, it's not. Well, this is the point where... <laughs> careful please. I just got it everywhere. <laughs> so now you can actually start adding your other ingredients. Am I supposed to be over the heat for this? You can start to put it back over the heat now, yes. What am I supposed to do with this thing just, now? You can un just sit it somewhere. Don't worry too much about it. I've made a mess though. We'll clean the mess later. So now you can actually 
start to add in your basil. And again, there's no real method to how much you put in. If you like the basil flavor, put more basil in. If you don't like that much basil, don't put that much basil in. Well, considering that I did the wrong thing with the spinach, how much of this am I supposed to put in? Keep going. That's probably enough. But see, the whole thing with this recipe is you taste it as you cook it. I'm serious. It doesn't look right. You're not going to be able to mix it too, too, too well with that. Probably a good indicator as well as if your red suit turns green, you probably put too much basil in there. So, so far we should be right. I would give it a quick, quick blend again. And for those of you at home, if you're using real basil leaves, again, probably a good idea to blend it. Hey Google, kitchen light on. Now, have you got a spoon that you can taste it with? How are you going to know it's okay for you, the rest of the class to eat? Is this really our dinner? Yeah. This is the tomato and basil <laughs> soup we're going to eat tonight. Oh. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Remember, it's going to be pretty hot. So now you can see how thick it is. See how it's coating the spoon? What do you think? Tastes pretty bad, doesn't it? Yeah. That's why you've got your good mate there, brown sugar. What am I supposed to do with this? Put like half a tablespoon in and blend it again and taste it again. Another blending. What? Well, unless you want big lumps a, of sugar. What's a tablespoon? Is know, this like, too much? It's probably too little. Oh no, my thing's spitting at me. Is this too much? No, it should be right. You can give it another blend. There's a lot of blending. You're nearly finished. You're pretty much at the stage now. All you've got to do is blend it and get it to the taste that you want. And then we're good to go. I'm not sure you can get something to the taste that you want when it's simply just tins of tomato. If you'd like this soup to be a little bit thinner, you can always just add a little bit more stock. Just don't go overboard with the stock because it'll make it really salty. Where's the flavouring? The brown sugar and the basil is basically the flavouring. You don't have to put salt and pepper on it? Well, there's plenty of salt in the stock. You can put pepper in there if you want. Do we have croutons? <laughs> we don't have bread or croutons. <laughs> How do you reckon we're doing this for $11.70? <laughs> Well, you should have got the flour out and made some bread before. No. We could have afforded $15. This no. is too much soup for two people anyway. Well, that's why it's feeds for fuck all, because you're feeding yourself, like, for more than one night. You'll ruin your palate drinking that. Have you tasted it again since you added the sugar? No, you do that. No, you, you're the chef. Oh, you went back for seconds. It must be getting better. I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste sweet at all? No. It's actually fine. You can probably put a bit more basil in, actually. I don't think, tastes a lot like basil. I don't think you need any more sugar. Well, maybe it does taste a little bit basil because I've just drank some red wine. Do I need to blend it again? Probably.
How did you get tomato everywhere? All right, do you think it's good to serve? No. Why not? Tastes pretty good. Bit of basil, bit of tomato, sugar to sweeten it up. That's all you need. You seem very unimpressed. I am very unimpressed. But you're, incre you're increasing your skill level of what you can cook. <laughs> Throwing some cans of tomato Look, I mean, into a thing. Everyone pretty much in Australia went into lockdown today. So this is a recipe that everyone at home is probably capable of because they're all going to have stuff like canned tomatoes at home. Don't you think? Perhaps. <laughs> the, my advice, just get more wine. It'll get you through. Thanks for watching the first episode of Feeds for Fuck All. Hope it's um, been inspiring. It's a very simple recipe, this one. Steph wasn't very impressed with it, but you know, I'm still gonna eat it and I think it's, it actually tastes okay. So give it a crack at home and see how you go. Cheers.